It's time once again for another installment of our new All In feature, These Are the People Who Are Running the Country, in which we take a closer look at the very small group of men and women in Congress who have shut down the government. Tonight, we turn the spotlight on a small businessman from Oklahoma with a penchant for common sense cuts to federal spending and aversion to bureaucratic red tape. Congressman Mark Wayne Mullen from Oklahoma's 2nd District. Mark Wayne Mullen represents Oklahoma's sprawling 2nd District, which covers about a quarter of the state. He's one of two American Indians in Congress, and he came to Washington as a political outsider to flush out the waste. Hi, I'm Mark Wayne Mullen with Mullen Plumbing, the Red Rooter. You know, we're known for all those red vans that crisscross all over Oklahoma, taking care of all your plumbing, septic, aerobic needs. If it has to do with gas, water, or sewer, we're your experts in it. He's the real-life Joe the Plumber. If Joe the Plumber ever got elected to Congress and was actually a plumber. Mullen is fed up with the protruding tentacles of the federal government getting in the way. Government needs to start operating like we have to operate a business. And he means all four branches of government. This country isn't ran by just one individual. It's ran by, by four branches, but three branches that have controlled this. Not only does Congressman Mullen have an alternative view of the government's constitutional structure, he also has an alternative take on where the president was born. Who would have thought we'd ever actually, actually be questioning if we had a natural-born president being president? But it's this notion that the federal government is too big, too meddlesome, and too wasteful that really gets Mullen worked up. Like this summer when he told a group of constituents about the horror of watching a couple defraud the federal food stamp program. He knew just by looking at them. This guy was built by a brick house. I mean, he had muscles all over him. He was in a little tank top and pair of shorts and really nice Nike shoes. They were both physically fit. And they go up in front of me and they pay but that's what that's more. Fraud. Absolute 100% of all it is is fraud. Shortly after that, he voted to cut funding to the food stamp program by billions of dollars, even though abuse of the program is at an all-time low. And it's not just food stamps he sees as waste. He believes the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act of 2009 was a, quote, horrible waste of tax dollars. Yet his plumbing company was awarded almost $400,000 of that very same federal stimulus money. Mullen maintains he is no hypocrite. He's a businessman. And when, quote, someone hires us to do a job, we don't ask them where the money comes from. And as a businessman, Mullen believes that Obamacare will wreak havoc on our economy and stifle job growth. So when a letter was circulated this summer demanding that John Boehner use the threat of a government shutdown to support a bill to defund Obamacare, Mark Wayne Mullen lent his support as a co-sponsor. That's how Congressman Mark Wayne Mullen of Oklahoma's 2nd District became one of the people who is running the country.